cost of goods manufactured is the cost a company incurs to make the goods that is going to sell as finished inventory. Let's look at the formula for cost of goods manufactured. It's equal to the direct materials that are used to make the item, plus the direct labor that's used to build the item, plus any manufacturing overhead that's allocated to it, plus the beginning work in progress in inventory, minus the ending work in progress in inventory. So what is the direct materials? Well, that's the beginning inventory plus any purchases minus the ending inventory of raw materials. And in terms of labor, it's going to be the number of hours worked multiplied by the hourly rate. Let's look at an example to see how this works. Here's a schedule for cost of goods manufactured. A company with a fiscal year end of December 31st has direct materials with a beginning inventory of 25,000. It then purchases 9,800 more raw materials. And we deduct from that the ending inventory of 23,000. So we know that the direct materials used in production is 11,800. Think of it this way. If the company wants to figure out how much it's spent in production, and it knows that it purchased 9,800 of raw materials, and it ends the period with less inventory than it started with, it must have cost or spent more than 9,800. If it ended the period with more inventory than it started with, it actually would have spent less than what it purchased of 9,800. That's the general concept with opening and ending inventory balances versus purchases. We then add to that the direct labor, the number of hours worked times the hourly rate, and we add to that the manufacturing overhead that's allocated to producing goods. There we have our total manufacturing costs, 55800 Next, we take the beginning work in progress inventory and we deduct the ending work in progress inventory so that we get the total cost of goods manufactured, 53700 in this case. Now, let's compare that to cost of goods sold. If we add the beginning finished goods in inventory and deduct the ending finished goods in inventory, we can see that the cost of goods sold then for the same period was 54400 Remember, the cost of goods manufactured are just the goods that are created and ready for sale. The cost of goods sold is the cost of the units that are actually sold to customers.